It's 2019 and the GTX 550 Ti is now 8 years old. Back in its day, it was a gamer's choice for many, due to its affordability and performance for the time. Launching at only a solid 150 bucks. But nowadays, you can pick up one for around 30 bucks on eBay or even on Craigslist. But can you still game with it, rocking only 1 gigabyte of VRAM? It having this low VRAM is one major issue when trying to run modern games. So why don't we just jump right into some games and see how it holds up in 2019. The first game we threw at it was Apex Legends. We got it to run, but not good. So first off, we got it to run on the lowest settings you can put it at. And basically, we just literally turned everything down as low as as it could go. It ran at a solid average 30 FPS. Sometimes dropping down to around 20, 25, but at least ran. No doubt it was playable, but was not a good experience, but playable at least. I could see if you want to just try it out with this GPU, no problem. But if you want to do anything else with this GPU in Apex, isn't going to happen. And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to try a game which is much easier for most GPUs to run. And it's Overwatch. It ran fine, running at the lowest quality for graphics, allowing it to pump out an average of 70 FPS. You could easily turn up the graphics settings if you're okay with under 60 FPS, but I was going for trying to get over 60 FPS. It ran good. I see this as a good option if you just want to play this game, get one of these GPUs and just throw it in and start playing Overwatch. And then, jumping over to something that's way more demanding, Rainbow Six Siege. Most lower end GPUs actually struggle to run this game, but this graphics card was able to run it, the game, on the lowest preset and the resolution dropping it down to 720p. It was able to pump out around 30 to 45 FPS on average, which was pretty decent for the, you know, GPU. Thinking that this is an 8-year-old GPU running a game from 2015. Now, this can be easily picked up used for less than 30 bucks. It wouldn't be a bad option if you're just planning on playing older games, but don't look at playing anything like the newest AAA games, because it's not going to work. But if you plan on playing games like CSGO, Overwatch, League of Legends, you're good with this GPU, and you won't really need anything else. Unless you want to turn everything up to, like, ultra settings to get a newer GPU then. But if you're just looking for something to run the games, and you don't have a lot of cash in your pocket, this is a good option. And for what it is, it's a good GPU. And the only other problem you will have is this will be discontinued for support in much newer games. So say if you play a new esports game, yes it'll run with older hardware, but it won't have as good of a support as newer hardware. Thanks for watching this quick review and benchmark of this car in 2019. Leave a like if you liked, leave a thumbs down if you disliked this video. Consider subscribing to see more videos like this. Thanks and have a good one.